And new tonight, an armed militia marches outside the suspect's home. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons live in Atlanta with the exclusive details. Barmel. Video of the Panther's Special Operation Command goes viral. On Saturday, the organization's armed patrol right in front of Gregory McMichael's home. Well protected, well protected, well protected. You don't win wars by marching and protesting. You win wars by fighting back. General Rottweiler, a member of the armed patrol, says he wants justice by any means necessary. You have to fight back. So you can't just sit there and your family gets murdered or your people get murdered. When you see a person get shot with a shotgun three times, and then it evoke a lot of images from the past, whether that's Emmett Till or Trayvon Martin. According to the attorney for the NAACP, Gerald Griggs, I'm gonna give them an opportunity. what they did is legal. Everything that was happening was legal. We have a First Amendment right to protest. We have a Second Amendment right to bear arms. And in this state, uh, we have open carry in most places. So now we're going to go over to the scene of where it happened. Okay. General Rottweiler says there is still a long way to go to achieve justice. Probably just do like a jury with no black folk, like they like they like to do this and that. So we think we didn't go out there and send a message. That ain't a war. That's fake one. Greg says the NAACP urges the community to seek peaceful, nonviolent means of protest. We would just call on everyone to remain calm, let the process play out, and if you feel the need to protest, do it lawfully. And just minutes ago, we learned of another protest group headed to Brunswick, the Justice Caravan. They're going to be leaving Atlanta on Saturday morning. In Atlanta, I'm Barma Lyons, CBS 46 News. Barma, 